Direct to satellite Starlink is coming to Tesla vehicles, but not in the way that you expect. Tesla boss Elon Musk wants every cell phone now. Elon Musk declares war on dead spots. And in this report, I'm going to tell you what the SpaceX and T-Mobile Alliance means for areas impacted by hurricanes. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel and like this video. You will help to put this in front of more people and thus help to speed up the transition to electric vehicle adoption. So Tesla boss Elon Musk wants every cell phone now. Elon Musk because he declared war on dead spots and this is going to leave no choice to other cell phone uh, providers but to change and adapt to this situation. So together with T-Mobile, SpaceX wants to put an end to dead spots via its satellite internet. Plans have now been presented for Starlink to connect to smartphones. Calls and messengers should be possible anywhere in the world. This is going to put an end to dead zones. And Elon Musk wants to make Starlink available on regular phones. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk and US T-Mobile CEO Mike Sievert have declared the fight against dead spots. At a jointly held event, plans were presented according to which Satellites, uh, Starlink satellite internet should also be available to be able to be used on normal smartphones in the future. So far, Starlink is only available on stationary phones. However, it will still be some time before satellite internet really arrives on mobile phones, friends. The SpaceX satellites currently in orbit are not able to enable mobile phone connections. Only the second generation of the small satellites should eliminate dead spots, provided there is a clear view of the sky. Musk has already explained in part how quickly the mobile internet from space will fail. The future satellites could reach two to four megabits per second per cell zone, which should be enough for voice calls and messages. If there are few participants in a cell zone, according to Elon Musk, videos could have been played. So let me know, friends, what do you think about all of these things? Now I'm going to explain you what the SpaceX and Mobile Alliance means for areas impacted by hurricanes, because you need the phone when there is a hurricane or something like that, right? So Jonah Kreider explains in Tesla Radi saying the SpaceX and T-Mobile Islands will be life-saving during hurricanes, fires, and other natural disasters. SpaceX founder Elon Musk and CEO of T-Mobile Mike Stewart, because they announced the program uh, which will enable mobile dead zones by launching a new mobile service enabled by Starlink. During that presentation, Elon Musk said that this new service was meant to provide basic coverage to areas that are currently completely dead. When asked by KRGV's Christian Von Praising about the winter freeze, hurricanes and flooding disasters, both CEOs answered. Mike Sievert emphasized that one of the top priorities of the industry, which is a big benefit of this new service, is redundancy. He said, one of the things about starting next year with messaging as opposed to trying to plug right in with voice and data right away is that with messaging, we should be able to handle a lot of messages. Many, many thousands of messages can be sent. So when you do have outages that happens through natural disasters or otherwise, there is an opportunity for people at scale to be connected in real time. He also said, and Elon was saying there could be a large at first, but he is take, uh, talking about before, reach commercial services. So eventually, as we hit commercial service and even in beta, this is a real-time message where you send a message and you get an answer. You are connected. He added that by stating, actually by actually he added that by starting out with just messaging allows T-Mobile to address use cases such as cellular networks being vulnerable, vulnerable to the weather. Elon Musk said that. Here's what he said. He said, this really is a big deal. 
Great question to ask because even if an entire region or country lost connectivity because of a severe hurricane or floods or fires or tornadoes, earthquakes, there are so many natural disasters. Even if all the cell towers were taken out, your phone would still work. This is a game changer for areas that are constantly impacted by disasters such as uh, my own, he said. What disaster he meant, I didn't know. During uh, my interview with Elon Musk, uh, Jonah Kreider says, I told him about what happened to me and many others during the aftermath of a hurricane Ida. The storm knocked out not only all eight enter um, energy transmission lines in New Orleans, but communications as well. I was without power for a week and was one of the lucky ones, she said. Only people with Verizon were sometimes able to send a text. I have T-Mobile and I was unable to text my friends out of a state and tell them that I was okay. Being cut off from communications like that made me feel entirely disconnected from the rest of the world forgotten even, and that's a daunting feeling. She says, this was on my mind during my interview with Elon Musk earlier this summer. Elon Musk invited me down to Giga Texas to interview him on my Gem and Mineral podcast during the end of the quarter push. She said, when we had Ida, my power was out for a week. When the hurricane hit, the communications and Southeast Louisiana were completely wiped out. We were using, uh, I forgot the name of the app, but Cajun Navy uses this app to rescue people that go from place to place to place. I just kind of made me think of that Starlink. Starlink would definitely help organizations like the Cajun Navy as well as other just to be able to communicate better, especially with the government agencies, I mean to say, and not just in my area, but in other areas as well. She says, I would be cool. it would be cool to see something like that on a more installed on your phone to keep people connected. Elon told her that a phone is able to act like a short-range walkie-talkie, but that SpaceX could create a Wi-Fi bridge. Certainly, one's phone is capable of behaving at least as a short-range walkie-talkie, even if it's not connected to the internet in any way. We could basically create a Wi-Fi bridge. Is that what you're talking about, Elon asked? Just something to keep people connected during the disaster. You don't have to worry about a friend is missing and they can call it and say, hey, I'm okay, power is out, we're conserving battery, I told him. So this is a good thing, right? This is, Elon is basically disrupting yet another um, industry friends with this. I think this is going to be really interesting to see how Tesla will do with this. Because I heard the comments on the uh, Twitter that if you are in a Tesla, then your Tesla will not have any problems. So that's a good thing to know. If you are Tesla, your Tesla will be automatically connected. And uh, in fact, Dave Lee asked, will Tesla cars get this feature too in the future? to connect directly to satellites, uh, to Starlink satellites for emergency calls and texts. Elon Musk tweeted yesterday at 9.39 p.m. saying yes. Now, so the good thing about this is that um, Elon disrupts yet another industry is going to bring changes to industry. The other carriers will have little choice but to follow. How else can you compete against free, no dead zone, ubiquitously testing? Let me know, friends, your thoughts. What do you think about this? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I just don't know how expensive this will be. Please like this video if you found the information helpful. And let me know what other use cases do you see in this. Do you think one day Tesla will even produce its own phone based on all of these things? Why not? Anyway, subscribe to our channel, like this video. I would greatly appreciate it. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. See you soon in our next report.